is Wednesday. Time for Morning Cup of Joe with Metro Sheriff Joe Lombardo. Good morning, Sheriff. It's great to have you. Good. I'm looking at myself on camera. I'm a little casual today. <laughs> yeah, casual Wednesday. It looks good. All right, Sheriff, <laughs> we know you just held the state of the department. What are some of the department's goals for this new year? Yeah, we did. Unfortunately, we couldn't do it in a public venue because of COVID, obviously. Um, so we did it virtually, uh, similar to the governor's state of the state. And I think it went over well. Um, hopefully, you've had a chance to watch it. Um, but in the previous years, I have concentrated on violent crime as our priorities. And then last year included quality of life on top of violent crime. And I think I'm going to continue in that vein. Well, not think. I know I'm going to continue in that vein moving forward to 2021, violent crime and quality of life. And, you know, and through the State of the Department, we talked about the Department's response to COVID last year and, you know, coming into the 21 and how we dealt with that. And unfortunately, we've had over 1,200 employees infected with COVID. And, but we've been pretty successful as essential um, employees or essential folks within the community and responding to crime um, dealing with that, those numbers. Um, unfortunately, we had uh, two employees uh, succumb to COVID um, and um, pleasantly surprised how we dealt with it going forward. Um, we developed a new strategic plan um, and the strategic plan is basically our blueprint on how we conduct ourselves on a daily basis and, and what our goals are looking into the future and, and how we're going to fight crime, which is our mission um, as a police department. Uh, we talked about police reform, you know, the, the stuff we went through in 2020 and I anticipate we're going to have to deal with at this legislative session here in 21, um, all the things associated with uh, the community's clamoring for police reform and doing business better. I'm very proud that we uh, had minimal changes in our, the way we do business here at Metro because a lot of those things were brought forward in years past. Uh, you know, things like de-escalation and duty to render aid and, and limiting the chokehold, uh, those type of items. And then we talked about the budget. Uh, you know, just like everybody else has gone through and what Las Vegas as a whole is experiencing, how do we deal with the budget shortfalls? Um, did I have to lay off employees? I, unfortunately, I had to lay off some civilian employees. Uh, we, we got rid of all our part-time employees. We got rid of a couple um, specialized programs and we had to downsize a significant number of programs throughout the police department. And hopefully through 21 and 22, 23, we can recover uh, some of those programs that are essential in what we do in the police business. So moving forward to 21, homelessness and mental health. Um, that along with uh, violent crime and that quality of life is homelessness, mental health, how we respond to a police department, how we help the community develop resources in response to those two particular issues. Uh, so th those are gonna be on the forefront of what we deal with in 21. You know, Sheriff, speaking of violent crime, according to Metro Stats, homicides doubled just last month compared to the same time last year. What do detectives believe is behind that increase? Well, fortunately, it's only been four weeks, you know, at the same time last year. So if you move into February and, and year to date, uh, we're actually flat. Um, so unfortunately, those numbers have recovered uh, from the previous year. So we were doubled up in January and there was no trend identified. Um, you know, we've seen, we've seen an increase in violent crime across the board, uh, across the United States in 2020. And a lot of, there could be a lot of reasons for that. Um, prison reform, uh, bail reform, uh, prosecution uh, inability because of the closure of the courts, uh, COVID anxiety. Uh, there's a lot of people out there theorized associated with that. But my goal is to just to address it. And I think we did a, a robust job. I know we did a robust job in addressing that particular issue because uh, we were down 4% in violent crime compared to last year. Uh, the thing I'm most proud of, though, is our homicide detail, our homicide investigation. Our solvability was right around 92%. Uh, and if you look at the national average, it's around 62%. So that's a lot of lives in that 30% delta um, associated with that number. And, and I think we are the industry standard best practice agency uh, associated with those type of investigations. Yeah, 92%. That's really that's great. Uh, Sheriff, we know, like everything else, Super Bowl weekend was a lot different this year. From Metro's standpoint, were there less issues in terms of DUI? 
No, um, there was less issues as far as crowd sizes and dealing with crowds and things that go along with crowds, such as, uh, you know, fighting. And, and as you can imagine, I don't need to uh, tell you about that. But the, uh, what we did have an increase was uh, DUI enforcement. Uh, we didn't do checkpoints this year. We find out those are very limiting in their, in their results. And uh, uh, so we did a lot of saturation patrols. Uh, so we had a 60% increase in DUI arrests, and we had an 84% increase in citations issued. So we, uh, we were very busy on Super Bowl weekend associated with DUI. And the reason why we uh, – I'm actually proud of that number because – DUIs more often than not result in a fatal accident. And if we can get those individuals off the roadway and prevent a fatal accident, uh, the better we all are. Yeah, and unfortunately we report on that far too often. So uh, good to hear those stats. All right, Sheriff Joe Lombardo, thank you so much for joining us. Hope you're doing well. You too, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. And if you have a question for Sheriff Joe Lombardo, you can send it to us. Just go on our website, newsnow.com. We do our Morning Cup of Joe segment. It's every Wednesday. So that would be when your question is answered. All right.